My name is Gerald from Merch Studio, and today we're learning the do's and don'ts of pressing using hot peel transfers. Let's make t-shirts. So the first thing that we look at is the pressing temperature. We recommend 260 degrees Fahrenheit for your hot peel, but different presses can have variations in temperature. So please optimize the pressing temperature on your heat press by playing around with it if it doesn't work the first time. And although heat presses have these indicators, I like to use a temperature gun, which I point at the bottom of the platen so that I can get the actual temperature. Next thing that we're gonna look at is peeling technique because this is where most of the errors come from. Now for cold peel transfers, you can just peel however you want to, but for hot peel transfers, what you need to do is peel it sideways so there's no upward force and you do it in one quick motion, just like you're peeling off a band-aid. And let me show you that again in slow motion. And in this next clip, I'm gonna show you what happens when you slowly peel a DTF transfer that's hot peel. So this mistake commonly happens with beginners that are a little bit afraid of ruining their transfers. So they're a little bit hesitant and they peel very slowly, but that actually makes it worse because your adhesive is still melted at this point. And although it wants to stick to the shirt, it has a tendency of sticking more to the film. Now, this is what I mean when I say peel it like a Band-Aid. And now, as you can see, this is what happens to your transfer when you peel it off slowly and with hesitation. If you compare it with this other part of the design, you're gonna see a big difference between the two. So please do not hesitate and peel with confidence. The next thing that we're gonna look at is how excessive temperature or pressing time affects your transfer. As you can see here, I bumped the temperature up to 320 degrees and the time to 25 seconds, and let's peel it. Right off the bat, you can see that some of the transfers were big into the film and I'm having a hard time peeling it. And that's because if the transfer is over cured, then the print has a tendency of binding to the film. but this is the end result, which is not very good. So please make sure to keep your temperature at about 260 degrees Fahrenheit. It might be a little bit higher or lower than that, depending on your heat press. And you should only be pressing for 12 to 16 seconds for most fabrics. Now, another problem that we get is peeling after it's washed. And the most common reason for it is not using enough pressure. There are two ways that you can make sure that you have enough pressure. Number one is see these seams right here. If you can bring them all the way down so that the surface is gonna get pressed is even, then that is your perfect t-shirt position. Also, with regards to the heat press, make sure that you have enough pressure on it. I'm using a nomadic press, and normally our pressure is at about 80 to 100 PSI. I brought it down to 20 something just to demonstrate it. But if you have one of those presses that just has a measurement from one to 10, the easiest way for you to figure out if you have enough pressure by putting a dollar bill on the edge and then pressing it. And if it doesn't come off, then you should have enough pressure. But of course, that's just a workaround and not very scientific. So I would still make a sample shirt and wash it just to make sure that the DTF transfer does not come off. So now we're gonna press the shirt at a very low pressure. And I'm also putting it near the seam because there's a bump here and that's gonna lessen the pressure even more. So I moved it here because you have a more prominent seam. And what I'm trying to point at is if you have an even surfaces like this one and you press it using low pressure after a couple of washes, maybe even just one wash, it'll peel off. And right off the bat, just because we didn't have enough pressure on it and we had this elevated part that kept your press from going all the way down, some of the letters didn't even stick. Now we're, so we're at home and you can already see peeling, but we are going to wash it. Right now that it's done, we're putting it in the dryer and it's done. Let's check it out. And as expected, the transfer peeled off. Some of them stayed, but if you look closer, you'll see that it is peeling off in different parts and that's not gonna last. Those are the most common problems that we've seen with using hot peel transfer together with the solutions. If you've encountered other problems with hot peel detail transfers, let us know in the comment section below. I hope this helps and let's make t-shirts.